it's time for some Python on hardware. Blinka, blinka, blinka. Okay, so Lady Ada, we have cooperative multitasking in CircuitPython 7 mm. now. It's in beta. Um, you want to kind of explain that a little bit? Yeah, it's um, the Python, you know, when, well, traditionally when we run CircuitPython code, or even Python code in general, you're writing all your code in one big program that, um, you know, everything executes one, one instruction at a time, and it's the next instruction in the list. And that's great for a lot of projects, but as people are doing uh, more complicated hardware, they might want to um, have things that are on timers or um, interrupting a task to check on something else. Like you have NeoPixels that are displaying a pattern and you want to read buttons that then change the pattern. And um, doing some of that stuff, usually you would use stuff like threads or uh, multitasking, you know, having um, multiple threads of execution that share some data or control. And there's a couple different ways to do this in C Python, but folks have pretty much settled on using um, async and async IO as well as like helper libraries. And this has been supported in MicroPython. People for a while have been asking us like, hey, why don't you support it in CircuitPython? Um, but we wanted to make a couple uh, tweaks to it to make it more C Python compatible. So it's the code that you write for CircuitPython will run on a Raspberry Pi or in desktop computers and it's, it's much more um, cross-platform in that way. Um, but we've started uh, writing guides and implementing uh, support in 7.1.0 beta. Um, we had some earlier support, but we changed it around enough that really you should just start from scratch if you've written async IO code uh, for CircuitPython before. And um, we're working with MicroPython to, to like collaborate um, and make uh, libraries that help make async IO easier for people. Um, together that'll run on both platforms because again, it's a, it's a C Pythonism. It's not um, unique to MicroPython or CircuitPython. But basically, uh, you want multitasking, we got it. And um, there's also a fact in there about what other stuff we're going to support and what stuff we're not going to support and why we're not supporting it because there's good reasons. It's like uh, we always say, sometimes it's more important what you don't do than what you do do. Yeah, especially with with threading and multitasking. Having having written you know thread code in Python for you know decade plus now, it, it, there's definitely things that Python used to do that they're like, please don't do this anymore mm -hmm. because uh, it just doesn't really work very well. And people, um, you know, the the joke is you you put yourself in the shot because <laughs> you can't do things in the right order. Like yeah. Um, all right. Next up, if you want to be assured to have your project on uh, Adafruit, just. Uh, do something like this. This is uh, the Dune Pain Box, uh, the Gum Javar from Dune with a Raspberry Pi. Um, they made a video and uh, it has, uh, you know, like you put your hand in it and it tells you about the pain. It's the recreation of the Gum Javar scenes from the, re the Dune, the 1984 uh, David Lynch one, but let me uh, see here. Yeah, and they, they show it uh, as you put your hand in it, it, it has the same uh, audio. And so I thought that was really cool. And uh, there's a column block line. He's like the pain. So I, I guess thought if you, this is it, neat. If you pull your hand out, like it sticks to you with the poison well, needle. Well, I think it's not that dangerous. So okay. uh, it's on Instructables, <laughs> and you can find out more. And uh, cool project. There's a lot of Dune stuff. We have a Dune uh, prop that we're going to show tonight as well. So um, that's the highlights uh, from the newsletter. There's a lot going on, but I do have a video or a thing I wanted to show. So I was hoping someone would do this eventually. This is the um, the farmer says, and someone's modding it now with CircuitPython, and you can see that uh, the innards are now going to be CircuitPython compatible, so you'll be able to do a bunch of cool stuff with it. So uh, as this project evolves and more, Fun. we'll show it off. So cool. And you know, that's one of the things. The, CircuitPython board shows up as a USB drive, so that means you can drag and drop things like MP3s or WAV files, and you can always update the code and always do all, all sorts of things. Um, and technically, that thing's now a USB drive. <laughs> so, okay, and then a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, we're doing more Blinka art, so um, here's some of them. We wanted to do some Blinka Bluetooth, uh, Blinka Bob Ross, Blinka art, and uh, Blinka, you know, just kind of pointing the finger at you. It's like the Spider-Man thing. It's like, you did it, I did it, no, we did it. And that's then, the cooperative multitasking. That's cooperative multitasking. And then uh, game, gaming, gaming Blinka. And that's our Python and hardware news this week. Thanks, Blinka.